Well, I thought everybody would like to see my upgraded personal golf museum. My collection of repair tools from around the world. Three trophies I won in one tournament in Yorkshire, England. Just mementos and collectibles from places I've been. All of the Trent Jones courses on the Alabama Golf Trail. My certificate for parring the Island Green at Coeur d'Alene. I covered the President's Cup in Royal Melbourne. I was given this nice plaque by one of the officials there. And I like old golf art. These are from the very famous North Berwick Golf Course in Scotland. Here's my St. Andrew's Corner, where I proudly lived for a year working as the golf concierge at the Fairmont Hotel. Lots of little knickknacks that I picked up along the way. Photo of me at the 1995 Johnny Walker World Championships in Trial, Jamaica. My good bunny, Dennis. Dennis and I were on course officials and guests of the Jamaican Tourist Board. This really cool cabinet, which opens a little spot to store things. Fabulous shadow box, all sorts of programs and magazines from different tournaments. I like golf ball displays. My good friend Eric Hunter up in Prince George just recently sent me that. There's my hole in one. Three of my good golfing pals in there. Cliff, Juan, and Flanny. I love native art, so that's quite unique. Homage to my dad, my mentor in golf, one of his hole-in-one golf balls right there. And then my hole-in-one golf ball down there. There's my rejection letter from Fred Ridley from Augusta. I was invited to play years ago by Will Nicholson. I didn't follow up on it. And when I sent a letter to Fred, he said, nice try, but no go. And even some modern stuff. Tiger Woods bobbleheads. There's a handmade club that a carver carved for me overnight when I was in Bali. And some other really cool, there's a little bronze statuettes. This is a little ball that spins and it's got words on it, makes a decision for you. Cool little pewter golf cart. A wine glass. Not that I drink anymore, but with a golfer on it. And from the 50s, the old handy jar that used to put, you know, your watch and coins in. A friend of mine gave me that. I like that one. An old golfer lives here with the best score of his life. And that's obviously my beautiful Myra. And even on my desk, I like having an old pen holder. Some of the original replica golf balls. One of my favorite sayings. Born to golf, forced to work. So I hope you like this little tour of my golf museum. It's a bit lengthy, but there's a lot of stuff to show you here. One last thing as I pan down, look at this collection of ball markers I just rec received recently. Look at that, from the 2000 Open, the 1990 Open, 2000 Open, 1990, Old Course, Royal Troon, Wentworth, all courses I've played when I lived over in the UK. My good buddy, Jody Graff, just gave me these two 1940s golf clubs that fit perfectly in that golf stand. And that's probably enough detail for everybody to get what it's like to come to the golf museum at my house. Thanks for your time, everyone, and good golfing.